Hi guys, got a request from Plantronic to make a vacuum pump from components that I can find in the bargain stores, as I call them. I had a little think about it, and I can do a very simple, very basic one. This is a party balloon pump that comes from the bargain store. It's very simple. You put the neck of your balloon over there and you pump it up. And the way it works, there's air holes on the bottom here. Just inside of there, there's a rubber diaphragm that as you pull that that way, the air's allowed to go in through there because the rubber diaphragm gives, flexes. As you push it back again, the air in there pushes the rubber diaphragm over those holes and seals them. So the only way that the air can get out is to go up the tube and into your balloon. So I thought, well, that ends a vacuum as it opens. So if I stick it on a milk bottle like that and then pump it, we'll create a vacuum in there. It won't be a very powerful vacuum, but it will be a vacuum. And to seal that onto there, I'm going to use a latex glove that I'm going to cut up, just so I can put that over there and tape it, ordinary sticky tape, from the bargain store, latex glove from the bargain store and seal it over there and that will hold it tight for me. So I'll do that. As I say, this is very basic. It's just to demonstrate a principle. You could spend a lot more time on this if you wanted to. But I don't intend to. Just tape that on. So I can find the end of my sticky tape. Possibly have just done this with sticky tape, but uh, I thought I'd use the latex gloves. trouble is, as I'm holding it, I'm squeezing it. But it is working.
may seem a bit excessive, but I'm just trying to stop gripping there, which is what I'm doing when I'm holding it. So I'm trying to hold it with tape instead. vacuum. <laughs> well that's what was asked for, a vacuum pump. I'm absolutely certain it's not quite what he had in mind, but it demonstrates the principle. You could work from something like that and make it better. We'll just do that again one thing I didn't think about was how to get the air back into the bottle once I've pumped it out. So I've had to put a pin hole in it and slowly get the air back into it. Because I've obviously I've sealed it all up at the moment. So I'll just pull the air out of it again and see if we can collapse the bottle. Pretty effective, isn't it? So, say the hardest bit was trying to get air back into it again because it's not a springy bottle, so just letting that out, it doesn't instantly inflate. It actually took me ages to get air back into it. Still, there you go, job done. A very simple vacuum pump. It partially inflates but it doesn't fully reinflate. I actually had to blow air through that hole to get it to pump up again. That's it. Job done. I think I said that a few times already. <laughs> <laughs>